Newly crowned NDP leader Adrian Dix believes he can expand the popularity of the New Democratic Party, even though he is considered to have been the far-left choice over the weekend. Dix won the NDP leadership on a platform of shifting the New Democrats further to the historical left on the roots of the party. He must now unite a fractured party, though, and prepare for an election that could come before the end of the year. Although he and Premier Christy Clark agree on this, that that should not happen until after the HST referendum. Our legislature reporter Shachi Curl has more on the New Democrats' new beginning. I want to finish with my beef okay, on Okay, you got your people yeah. here on so, As I said, Oregon on the final ballot. <laughs> Beyond the nervous energy, the confidence, the bravado, the NDP candidates all understood one underlying theme. It was time for the party to move on and get along. We all have to be together coming out of this, and I'm confident we will be. The members are going to make a decision, and however they decide is however they decide. Can you live with that, however they decide? Absolutely. No one had forgotten the painful division that prompted this leadership race, but now it was on to the voting. Two-thirds had already cast ballots in advanced polling, which meant candidates already knew where they stood by E-Day, not even from the safety of their own war rooms that they were admitting. We will now phone those who have not yet voted and say, where are you? Uh, th those that have identified. Oh, come identified. on, come on, Horgan. You're, you're going to say it a little more forcefully than that. I'm not going to say anything like that. <laughs> m but, my, but, but the organizers are going to do that yeah. on my behalf. But as he worked those phones, John Horgan, the only candidate from Vancouver Island, knew the numbers weren't with him. With Dana Larson already knocked out of the race, Horgan lasted one more round of balloting. I was building a cohesive team for a campaign. But I ran out of time, and I guess I should have spent less time with my family at Christmas and more time signing people up. Now his supporters faced a difficult choice. Some went with Adrian Dix, others with Mike Farnworth. Adrian Dix is, um, I mean, they're down to two candidates. Um, I believe in making a clear choice. It's like there's no one obvious thing, and so my choice is simply to go to Mike. But who would win? Farnworth, the perceived front-runner with centrist politics, or Dix, the candidate who signed up more than 6,000 members for this campaign, the unapologetic Social Democrat. Adrian Dix, 9,772. Mike Farnworth, 9,095. Even before the victor took the stage, Dix went first to his friend, Mike Farnworth. I believe we, are, we have yet to have our best moment when we come together as a team united to defeat the B.C. Liberals and form a majority government in British Columbia. And now it's up to Adrian Dix. It is a left turn for the party, but could it also be the right move for the NDP's political fortunes? Time will tell.